Hello everyone, it's Nelson here again with PA Creative. Today I'm gonna to walk you through setting up and managing events in the events calendar. So we've already installed it and we have this new menu item called events here in our WordPress dashboard. So let's go over there to events. At this point, there are none added. So let's go ahead and click on add new. Okay, so let's give our event a title. Let's just make something up. And then you can see this area here. We can either use the Divi Builder or just write it here in WordPress. So this would be just for the description. Um, so if you want to make a layout in your description area, you could use the Divi Builder. Or again, you could just write some kind of description here. In fact, we could write something something like that just to show what, what it is. Okay, so next we choose our date and time. So let's choose a start time. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter. I'm just filling in arbitrary things here for you for this demo. Okay. And then you could also choose an all day event. Now next there's location and then there's something called the venue. So this is going to be the address location of the actual event. And you could just put in all kinds of stuff like, you know, the city park, and then you might have the address and the name of the city and all this stuff. There's also organizers, and this is optional. Um, but if there is a certain organizer, you know, put in their name and then their phone number, their website, and any of that stuff, you could also put in the event website. Okay, and then down here is the excerpt, and this is where it's like a short description of your event. And I'll just go ahead and type something in. Okay, let's go back up, and on the side here, um, there's different things. We could choose our layout and then there's also tags. So we might want to have event tags. So maybe one of the tags would be, you know, concert or outdoors, you know, or whatever. And then there's categories. So again, we could have um, maybe, maybe there's a concert series and then we'll add, click on the add new event. So then we have that as a category. And then we can add an image, which I recommend. Okay, go ahead and upload an image. Okay, so I'm uploading an image that will be for the featured image of this event. Add that. And then I think we've pretty much covered everything. So you can go ahead and click on publish. Okay, so now if we would go under the events calendar here and click on events, we'll see all of the events that we've added. And here you can manage them however you want. You could go in here and edit. You can do the quick edit, which allows you to change certain things here, um, which is similar to, you know, pages and posts in WordPress. And then you could trash it or just go ahead and view it. So if we wanted to go back in, you know, we could edit anything we want here. You could go back and change the title, any of this stuff here, you know, feel free to go back in and edit any of this at any time that you need to manage that after it's been added. You can also go over here on the side and you can manage things like the tags, for example. So let's say instead of adding them how I did it there, you might want to go through and add a few more. Um, and that way, when you're writing posts, they'll all be, they'll already show up there as options. So you could click on add new, um, and you could just manage these here as well. Another thing is the event categories. So you can manage them here. Um, you might want to have another category here, whatever that may be, you know, add more categories. You can even have parent and child categories. You also remember that I talked about the venues. You could go in here and set up venues. See, we have the one that we created automatically shows up here. So you could go in here and add new venues, um, edit the locations and addresses and all of that. Same thing applies to organizers. So you might want to have different organizers. Um, you might want to change their information, their email, phone, and all that stuff. So that pretty much wraps it up, how you add new events and manage the events in the events calendar. Now, once you go and work with our Divi modules, you'll get all of that data coming through and you'll be able to, you know, choose what you want to show and hide and how you want to lay it out, and how to style it. And you can see that in some of our other documentation videos.